When we think of planetary rings, Saturn is usually the first to come to mind, with its vast shimmering bands of ice and rock visible even through a small telescope. Yet a surprising new theory suggests that Earth may have once had its own ring system, albeit temporary, around 466 million years ago during the Ordovician period. According to a 2024 study by Monash University, this ring system could have formed after a large asteroid passed too close to Earth, breaking apart and creating a halo of debris around the planet. This theory is based on the discovery of 21 asteroid impact craters located near the equator and evidence from fossil meteorites recovered from marine limestone. These findings have prompted researchers to reconsider the potential geological and climatic effects of Earth's long forgotten rings. The Ordovician period, spanning from about 485 to 443 million years ago, was a dynamic time in Earth's history. While marine life flourished in the shallow seas that covered much of the planet, the surface was undergoing significant geological and climatic changes. During this period, Earth experienced what scientists now call the Ordovician Meteor Event, a spike in meteorite impacts believed to be caused by the breakup of a large parent asteroid in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. One of the key pieces of evidence for this event is the discovery of 40 fossil meteorites in the limestone beds of the Thorsberg Quarry in southern Sweden. These meteorites, which range in size from a few centimetres to over 20 centimetres in diameter, are thought to have originated from the Alchondrite parent body, which broke apart during the Ordovician. The Thorsberg Quarry is one of the most meteorite-dense areas in the world, with an estimated 12 separate meteorite falls occurring over a seafloor area of just 6,000 square metres during a 91 million year period. This high influx of meteorites is a major clue that something unusual was happening in the solar system at that time. What makes the pattern of meteorite impacts particularly interesting is that they are not evenly distributed across the Earth's surface. Instead, they are concentrated near the equator, a finding that has led researchers to propose that Earth's gravity captured some of the asteroid debris in a temporary ring system. This ring would have orbited the planet for millions of years, gradually decaying and sending fragments down to the surface, where they created the impact craters we see today. The formation of Earth's ring system can be traced back to a cosmic encounter that occurred around 466 million years ago. According to the Roche Limit Theory, when a celestial body such as an asteroid passes too close to a planet, the planet's gravitational forces can overpower the internal cohesion of the smaller body. This causes the asteroid to break apart into smaller pieces, which can then spread out and form a ring around a planet. In Earth's case, it's believed that a large asteroid, possibly more than 150 kilometers in diameter, ventured within the planet's Roche limit and was torn apart by the immense gravitational forces. The resulting debris, composed of rock, metal and other materials, began to orbit the planet, creating a ring system similar to those seen around gas giants like Saturn and Jupiter. Over the course of millions of years, the material in the ring slowly spiraled toward Earth due to gravitational forces, atmospheric drag and other factors. As the debris entered Earth's atmosphere, it created a spike in meteorite impacts, leaving behind the 21 craters that researchers have discovered near the equator. These craters, which include the Decora Crater in Iowa, Rock Elm Crater in Wisconsin, and Lawn Hill Crater in Queensland, Australia, are just a few of the many craters that exist from this time period. One of the key methods used to study these fossil meteorites is the analysis of chromite grains a mineral that is resistant to weathering and can provide valuable information about the meteorite's origins. By comparing the chemical composition of chromite grains from the fossil meteorites with those from modern meteorites, scientists have been able to confirm that the fossil meteorites are indeed alchondrites, likely originating from the same parent body that broke apart during the Ordovician. The limestone beds at Thorsberg, which were deposited in a shallow epicontinental sea, provide an ideal environment for preserving these ancient meteorites. The slow rate of sedimentation, combined with the stable geological conditions, allowed the meteorites to remain largely intact. The discovery of 21 impact craters, all located within 30 degrees of the equator, is a concentration that is highly unusual, as under normal circumstances, meteorites should strike Earth randomly, leaving craters scattered across the planet. However, the fact that all of the Ordovician craters are located near the equator suggests that the meteorites came from a ring system orbiting the planet. Researchers have used tectonic plate reconstruction models to map out the locations of these craters. The pattern is consistent with the idea that debris from the ring system gradually fell out of orbit over millions of years, creating the craters in a narrow band around the equator. 
The statistical improbability of this distribution occurring by chance has led scientists to conclude that a ring system is the most likely explanation for the pattern of impacts. It is highly probable that more than 21 impact craters resulted from the debris of Earth's proposed ancient ring system. The 21 known craters represent only those preserved in stable geological regions that we have found, while many others may be undiscovered or may have been lost due to erosion, tectonic activity and sediment burial over the past 466 million years. Earth's dynamic surface processes such as weathering and plate tectonics can erase or bury craters, especially in areas with less stable crust or oceanic regions. Additionally, smaller meteorite fragments may have created impacts that were too minor to leave lasting craters, or their evidence has simply not been detected. The discovery of these craters has also been limited by sampling bias, as some regions have been more thoroughly explored than others. Therefore, while 21 craters have been identified, it is likely that many more exist, but were erased or remain hidden in the geological record. In addition to creating a spike in meteorite impacts, Earth's rings may have had significant effects on the planet's climate. During the Ordovician period, Earth experienced one of its most severe ice ages, known as the Hernantian Glaciation. This glaciation saw global temperatures plummet, leading to the expansion of ice sheets and a significant drop in sea levels. Some researchers have proposed that Earth's rings could have contributed to this cooling event by blocking a portion of the sunlight that reached the planet's surface. Much like Saturn's rings cast shadows on the planet, Earth's rings could have created a similar effect, reducing the amount of solar radiation that warmed the surface. This reduction in sunlight could have triggered or exacerbated the global cooling that led to the Hernantian glaciation. The potential for Earth's rings to influence the planet's climate adds a new layer of complexity to our understanding of the Ordovician period. While the rings themselves were temporary, their effects on Earth's climate may have been long-lasting contributing to one of the most significant ice ages in the planet's history. The remnants of Earth's rings are not only found in the fossil meteorites and impact craters, but also in the sedimentary layers of the Ordovician period. Across Europe, Russia and China, layers of limestone from this period contain high levels of extraterrestrial debris, including meteorite fragments and interplanetary dust. These layers provide further evidence of the sustained bombardment of meteorites that occurred as material from the rings gradually fell to Earth. In addition to the meteorite debris, the presence of certain chemical signatures in the sedimentary layers, such as elevated levels of chromite and osmium isotopes, points to a significant influx of extraterrestrial material during the Ordovician. The hypothesis that Earth once had a ring system is a remarkable chapter in the planet's history. Formed by the breakup of a passing asteroid, these rings may have existed for millions of years, gradually decaying and falling to Earth in the form of meteorites. The evidence for this ring system, from the concentration of impact craters near the equator to the abundance of fossil meteorites in Ordovician limestone, provides compelling evidence that this hypothesis may indeed be correct. The rings themselves, though long gone, may have had lasting effects on Earth's climate and geology. As researchers continue to study the geological record, the possibility of ancient ring systems is a fascinating insight into what may have existed on our planet. I hope you found this topic as interesting as I did, and as always, Thanks for watching. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.